Hi, welcome. It's that day of the month where we make an analysis of all the work that has been done in well June and July. So this is the video for the release article on the 20th of July 2019. And I can immediately say that then at that point in time, the article next team is going on a holiday. Not as a group, of course, but um, we are spending well, more time with our family for one, and and uh, of course we'll keep on developing, but not officially, right? So there is no release in August, and our next release will be mid September. That's first off. Now, the text or the video is gonna be rather long because there's lots and lots of things to talk about. So first of all, maybe you've noticed this is the Brave uh, icon up here. So it's the Brave browser. And we're gonna have a look what has changed last month or so. Well, you when you go to the website, you already see some of the things that's changed. We have a new desktop environment, LXQT, and there's an article about it to follow. And there's also a new project, the LTS or the Long Term Support Project. It's another uh, milestone, let's say. And there is also a thousand videos and more. In the meantime, I think 1030 videos just about Arco Linux. So there's going to be a new text about Arco Linux release 19.07, and this video is part of it. It's already online for the video for now. And these are the topics that I need to cover. So it's quite a long list, this light gray uh, list of elements. So July. In July 2019, there we are talking for uh, about a milestone. We call this a milestone. What does it mean? It means that we have 64, 64 ISOs that we have built. That's no problem. That's a script that works, that needs CPU and some time and some electricity. That's it. But it's the testing, of course, on VirtualBox, all of them, on an SSD, all of them, on laptops, all of them. Then the beta testers, testing it, everything. So it has been a um, heavy month, let's call it like that. It's been um, time consuming and spend a lot of energy in testing out all these ISOs. Now, of course, we will not do this again. That's why we will talk about July 2019 as being our reference month. If you wanna have, say it's December, we did not build anything for you, well, then you will say, go and have a look at the ISO in the folder of July 2019 and get that one, update your system in your back to where we are in December. So we have doubled the number of ISOs from 30 to 60. And since we have LXQT, we have four more, right? So 64. Because you can build your own ISO, your own LTS ISO, the long term support kernel, um, that's why everything has been doubled. The idea is that we got responses that uh, some of our users, because of hardware, cannot boot up. Well, they can install Arch Linux visually. They boot it up. They see Arch Linux. They go through the motions and calamaris. And when they reboot, they end up in a black screen. So we have tried out this and it works for some of you anyway, that if we provide you the long term support kernel, then you are no longer booting up in a black screen. So that's a fix for some of you. But the major part of the people with newer hardware, I suppose, um, will have no problem with the Linux kernel, but some of you require the LTS. So that's why. No, we will not build and test 64 ISOs every month. No, not gonna do it. Because Arch Linux B, the B stands for build it yourself. The idea is, has always been you, we giving you the power to build your own ISO with 
a Brave, Bra Brave browser with a Firefox browser, with whatever browser you like, okay? Now, I must apologize, not the Brave browser, because that's coming from AOR. So everything that's on the Arch Linux and the Arch Linux repos, you can put it in, in your ISO. The, the rest of the stuff needs to come with scripts later on. So Arch Linux B is there, use it. It's meant for you. You should build an ISO on top of our template. And then everything, of course, everything becomes more complex because choosing is always more, um, choosing is always more complexity. This will help you. Okay, so basically, if you never had an issue with our ISOs, you are to the left. You are in this bright red here. First, try the Linux kernel. And then it's up to you again to decide, hey, I'm going for the Arch Linux ISO, which we call the full ISO, the big ISO, that's what we call it, big ISO. The minimal one here, Arch Linux D. And eventually, if you want to build it yourself or download and update, it's all good for us, but we will not be making Arch Linux B, minimals, bears, and all the LTS versions every month. We'll just stick to Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, and Arch Linux B full. Those are our things. And the rest is build it yourself. So you have here choices for desktops. Choose your desktop, i3, open box, and all that. And there is some minor difference. This is the minimal version. So we've created that and the bare version. We've created that as well. But for instance, the Plasma Minimal does not exist. You have to create it yourself. And all the tutorials are online on articlingsb.com. So some more explanations. Eh? Minimal means less software. Not three browsers, one browser. Bare means no browser. That's how it's supposed to be. That's the idea behind it. So the LS, LTS project has uh, been kicked off. I hope, well, we already have response that people finally say, yes, I have Arch Linux on my hardware. So great, that was, has been the goal. And um, well, it's, it's worth that, well, it's fine to have results, right? Roy, return on investment. We have put in a lot of time in building all that. So yes, it's great to hear that this uh, actually works for you guys. So this is some text explaining everything again and then well while we were making so many isos it was a good time as well to f investigate calamares because in the time that we from june to and for the version from 196 to 197 we had three calamares versions i think eight nine and at the end we have used the calamares version 10 for all our 64 isos all the same so here's a more detail if you want to read it. Calamar is, by the way, if you're a newcomer, it's not our project. It's a project that's for all Linux systems. It's a graphical installer to help out any of the Linux distributions out there to get that thing on your hardware. But I, I don't know, I, I, I felt like making a Calamaris series and I believe there are 28 videos all about calamares i making these videos i found out also some interesting tips some golden tips in there so if you get an error on your installation in calamares there is always always a solution trust somebody who has made 160 installations in a week time or so i mean all of these iso 64 isos have been installed installed reinstalled reinstalled i mean that's probably more than 160. So I've learned a lot about Calamaris, and that's what we do with Arcolinux. Whatever we learn, we share our knowledge. It's in there, 28 videos. Go check it out. We improved also the Calamaris config, obviously, which that's a general goal always. But we have also the possibility now to debug. So if you say at some point in time, I want to help, uh, let's... Uh, put it online on GitHub from Calamaris and ask the guys, hey, we have a, a problem with this kind of hardware of that issue. Then we can uh, use, uh, well, different kind of uh, tools 
to investigate really and to give some data to these guys so they can analyze and then the project project calamaris can move forward and improve in the meantime we've also um, added a little script you know the script 000 to add to set all the cores to work automatically is um, well not automatically manually in the scripts so we've set calamaris to hey guy go and run that script so that we don't need to do it after a clean installation. So all cores are used out of the box after installation. The script stays there because of the fact that we are from time to time moving from phase uh, four or three to three, four, but to phase five, to Arch Linux. And then in Arch Linux, well, you need the script to activate it again, of course. So the script stays just for the Arch Linux guys going to phase five. And I've used it already in my tutorials on Arco, uh, sorry, on Arch Linux. We've um, perfected uh, Arch Linux GNOME. It's really fun again to work on it because mainly I'm a keyboard user. I mainly use keyboards. And I see there is an error here. We are moving, we have missing something here. And that's what the problem was earlier on. So I'm gonna fix that later, Never mind. So Linux B GNOME has been perfected. How can I show you this? Arco Linux B. Let's see what comes up. Ah, uh, sorry. I actually wanted to go to Linux info, to the beta of Linux B, this page. This is a page where all the, everybody actually, but mostly the beta testers go and have a look what has changed. And in here you'll see this part I need to copy paste over to the article. So in Arch Linux B, GNOME restyled or perfected to have added a lot of more keyboard shortcuts. And I really miss them and them being back in the system actually improves uh, the workflow a lot. I mean, Ctrl Alt T, a super return, super shift return, those things are in, and that what's, that's what makes it uh, more fun again. We've also changed uh, something in the keyboard department. Um, when, when we set our settings, it's always gonna be in the ETC scale. And in Gnome and Budgie, the keyboard is set inside the dconf right and to avoid changing all all, all these uh, keyboards again and again after a scale we've uh, opted to put in some of these keyboards already in a list so basically all you need to do <coughs> if you see that your keyboard is not is not the correct one is move it up to the top so the top one is always going to be the one that's in here <coughs> my voice is going away and this is how it looks, right? Just a pop-up and then select it. So back to here. So this one is going away. And what we've done is the, of course, a new desktop. You've seen it on the social media. New desktop LXQT, which is uh, pretty nice. Also, like always, themed and tweaked. It looks nice out of the box. And it's interesting to know that we always start with a Arch Linux D version. So before we do anything, we actually are making an Arch Linux D desktop first. And then later on, with that knowledge, or we are going to create an Arch Linux B ISO. Well, because the B ISO is just a file, a file with packages, that's all it is. But in here we can experiment and see we need this we don't need that we need a new package etc etc that's where we experiment where we make it actually all happen and then you can um, build an iso out of that so this is how it will look in a dual screen by the way um, interesting to see and to say that lxut is not ready for dual screens in the sense that it will spread out a wallpaper over the two, the two screens. 
So if you have a wallpaper that's actually in a small size just for one screen, it's going to be a huge stretch out of the wallpaper, which is going to be not nice, right? So we've made an extra package, a package with beautiful dual wallpapers, just like this one that starts at the left and ends on the right. And it's one beautiful look for your dual monitor, just for the people who have it. It will look good on single monitors as well, but it's just more compressed. All right. So, oh, look at this. Here we have, here we have the part where Aklan Gnu perfected is. So this is talked about, we talked about that one and then the grub lines. We've done some changes here as well. As you see, a lot of lines are added in this particular version. We have seen that some of the people, again, hardware dependent, some of the people have problems booting up and you have to go inside your line here, your code, you can go inside with E or tab, depending on the distro you're on, and then you add something behind it. And we have had some, we've put some things already present. It's like this no mode set is probably something you've you heard about. You can try it out and see if you can boot into Arclinux and start um, while well, installing. Maybe it's interesting for you to know that of the notice that this guy is blue. You'll see later on a screenshot where the logo is white. Blue means Arch Linux, white means Arch Linux D. Okay, so maybe with this release, you'll get the possibility to actually boot up and install Arch Linux because of the choices you have now. Then we were um, making all these calamaris series and we found that this blue line was going all the way through our text and we didn't really like it. It was almost unreadable. So a new do default, you probably all are already working on it. If you do an update, it just is. So you'll get the new update in and this is the way it looked prior the update and this is going to be our new default. When we were working in all these things, we thought, hey, why not make a new one? So we make, created also some extras. So we can also boot into this kind of logo or this kind of uh, colorful and logo and this kind of, well, blurred vision. So it's all choices and um, we provide you the tools you choose. The Vimix Grub team has been improved as well in the sense that this is the, the line again but the icons were not um, the way they should be. This is a cinnamon, Arcanlix B, and this has this little penguin icon, and this is also a cinnamon and another cinnamon. You see here the LTS versions I've been testing, you see? On one ISO, sorry, on one hard disk, four ISOs. That's what this line, this, this image means. It means that I have divided my hard disk in four parts. And booting up with this, this one, or this one. But, like I said, the icon was not good. So these Linux things here, or the penguin icon, is now always going to be a nice, beautiful Arco Linux logo. You can still change our wallpaper any way you see fit. That stays the same. At the meantime, HBlock has been discovered and it's also now on AUR. So if you're going to type yay HBlock, it's going to show a name and you will say, oh, it's going to be this one. Well, no, what we provide is something better and more. Well, it is. And so we are rather than calling it HBlock Git because that was the name before, we are calling it now Arch Linux hblock kit right so it's really a clear message that that package is from us and if you want to have the other one from the aor be my guest neofetch can use the medallions thanks to zver i think 43 out of my head a guy from discord one of our beta testers has made a beautiful medallion which i'm very proud of so we can use it for instance in neofetch and we can use it in any other uh, well project in the future so a beautiful 
Medellin can be used. The Conky Toggle project, a project with uh, Ray, Ray, another beta tester, is also quite interesting. You can now press Super C and Super C will just provide you with a Conky. So this is our Conky at the moment and switching between it is just done with a Ctrl C and all the information is on the websites. There are some new Conkeys. Of course, I wanted to have a Conky with the beautiful medallion. So that's done. Now, depending on what system you're on, you'll have this, well, black line across it because you're on XFCE. On open box, it looks a little bit nicer, but it's still okay, right? So there are other logos, of course, gold, silver, bronze, blue, and white, five color choices. Then there's another conky, so two conkies this month. And we have this beautiful conky as well. Keep rolling, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Builder, keep rolling. Proud to be working with Arch. And there's something fun, always is, right, a rally. So if you type rally, you update, of course, to a skull, then this little script that is now in etc scale.bin rally is moved to your home directory but mind you i've been telling it um, to people online on discord see that you know what scale is scale killed my setting so you become angry um, but you need to know what scale actually does it will overwrite your files in your home directory so read before you type in scale Okay. General improvements. Oh yeah, monthly keep rolling. So yeah, if you're not installing, great, no problem with us. Uh, we'll keep you up to date with a stay rolling script. You always know where it is. It's going to be in the control H, in the bin, in the stay rolling. In here, you'll have it. Run this thing, first investigate, as always, read, and then see, okay, it's just a fix for the blueberry. That's it and a change in number, of course, 1907.9. You will see that some of the things are called 0.10 because of the fact that they were built after this bunch of uh, ISOs. So we needed to have a reference point. And Q um, LXQT is number 10 and GNOME is number 10. And that's it. So a lot of general improvements. So um, yes, there was a new grub well the syntax was different there's no new new group as such for the end user but the syntax was a little bit different so i followed the developers there's a new script and alias i mean uac use all course but if you do a clean install 197 it will be like that so you don't need it but it's always an interesting thing if we're on arch we'll have this um alias then and we don't need to go to bin main 000. Oh my ZSH has been removed. That's true. It's a package to change your shell, but um, well, no, it's, this is a theming kind of package. And if you change from bash to ZSH, then you can use it for instance, but it's actually not that interesting as a package from AOR. But it's so much easier if you download it via the script of their website. So that's a choice, not installing via package, but install it via a script. It's my message. XF86 video level is back in. It used to have problems. It was around February, I believe. We had issues. We left it out. New kernels came along. We're now at 5.2.1. Yep. Uh, so no issues here, so it can go stay in again. And we've updated HBlock, you fetch. There was a, UB, a boot up error at some point. So the guys of Arch Linux gave us a new kernel and our improvements, our t tweaks could not be applied on the old kernel, sorry, on the new kernel. So we deleted our tweaks simply and because the tweaks were actually in the kernel at that point in time. Conkeys were completely reworked and restyled. So 
as always, we will try to make them work on Openbox and XFC only. Those are the two systems we take a look at. And all the rest, you really need to take a look at your window manager, your own BSPWM, Plasma, uh, LXUT, they're all different. So you need to have, you need to go into the code. And the best thing always is take our conkey, control C, control V, give it your, the same name, add Eric for instance behind it, so you know it's yours. And then, well, not Eric, your first name. And then change the code because a scale will overwrite it again. So making new conkeys or for making as your personal conkey don't work in our conkeys, copy paste. Give it another name, it will never ever be overwritten with scale. The fix here for Blueberry, Bluetooth, we saw it in, we saw it in the um, Stay Rolling script here. And here a tip from user XBW. Um, maybe you're using Genie and in Genie you can actually open a terminal and if you move from tabs the terminal actually moves with you now so if that's something you wanted it's now fixed another tip from discord from this user who saw that there was a small line in between here somewhere and show frame i don't we can't make it bigger i'll make sure you can make it bigger when the text comes out show frame needs to be away i think and then everything works fine so that's covered as well as down here somewhere and we've um, told our systems to be more sublime text minded and less genie so if you open a file it's going to be more sublime text and not as much genie that's the idea and here's the white logo so if you boot up if you put in a usb and say what is this well already with the logo and the text of course but with the logo you see now that's going to be an Arcanlux D ISO. Qtile has been, yes, we got a major version update here as well. And hence we had the issues with our configuration. Uh, we communicate with you guys online, say no, don't update yet. Um, it will break your Qtile. I think it took a day or so. Uh, we figured out what it was and hence we had to remove an alternative battery widget and done. That was it. And we've updated the packages, given we gave green lights online. Okay, you can update, done. Awesome has given, we well, a normal update from Awesome as well. Five changed files, 31 additions, 26 deletions, a general update to keep track of the updates there. And Qtile and Xmode, both of them, we've done a change so that when you move an application to a different workspace, it actually moves along. The focus will be on that new workspace. So that's less clicking. I mean, it's just better workflow management. To do, to do next month, well, it's, uh, it's holiday, so beach time and stuff like that. But uh, after that, we'll make more LXUT tutorials. So now you're left on your own. You'll see it's pretty easy. It's not that difficult. LXQT, it's super fun as well. So have a go at it it actually looks great and then the video how to stay rolling which is actually going from uh, 1906.1 to 1907.9 you know eh, slash 10 depending if you're on gnome or lxqt and what's new well that's this video what we're talking about that's going in here and good to know well it's general information Sometimes this button is not in the right place. It communicates with a server from Plasma, KDE. And if that's down, maintenance, well, then it will stick in here in New York. Just click anywhere else where you live or choose a drop down and it's working as well. And if you want a more, some more technical stuff, then you can always visit our GitHubs. That's it for me. So it was a rather long video, uh, 29 minutes is still okay. But um, if you see the amount of work, I can only say thank you guys. Thank you everybody, the Arc Linux team, the beta testers. Uh, it has been a heck of a month. I mean, 
Look at the sheer amount of ISOs that's online. And yes, I stress again, we'll not do this again. You have to build them yourselves. What we will build is Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, and all the Arch Linux B full editions. That's the ones we want on our, on our machines. That's the one we will build and put online every month, but not ever the bare, not ever the minimal, and all the LTS versions. So always go back to this month, update if you don't want to build, but the point is build. Because that's the power of this building, maybe we should conclude with the websites. Why is there no Arch Linux B ISO this month? Well, you need to build it, right? Not, not download, it should be build it, not download it. And all the, the vision about here, the vision about the building, choose your project and choose whatever you like. It's a, there's a tutorial for everything. Also the LXQT, it's created already. And the ISO minimal, LXQT minimal, it's created already. Same goes for ArcLinuxD.com. If you want to move to phase five, choose a desktop and do an LXQT. It's there already. So we have made already lots of tutorials for this new desktop that we have um, launched. And well, sure, there are no articles at this point in time yet talking about it besides the installation and the gallery. But we'll get at them, well, when we're back from holiday, basically. So, I hope you're um, happy with our new um, innovations and, and uh, extra functionality, more possibilities. Lots of things have uh, changed and we've done a lot of work and I hope you're satisfied. I do not ask or do not um, say that often, but maybe this is a good time as any to end with, to end with this thing because I almost forgot to tell you, but you've seen maybe on our uh, social media, that donating is of course appreciated, but these days you can choose where, where to donate. So this is the download page. Again, I want to point you to the choices you have to make, and then you choose where to download. And now we go to the donation page, and that's the last thing I'll say, because this is new. You can buy some gadgets, shop on Teespring and support us financially. So the idea is Teespring becomes rich because you buy something. But a part of the percentage of the price you pay comes to Arch Linux directly. So you get something physically with a logo of Arch Linux, of course, and we get a small percentage well, depending on, on the article, you know, a percentage that goes to straight to the account of Arch Linux. So that's another way to contribute. You have now two choices, money or gadgets. And it's really is fun stuff. I've ordered some stuff already. I will just see uh, how everything goes. It's an experiment for both of us, but I have a feeling it's okay. I've bought already a cup of tea here, a mug block with the blue logo what did i buy as well a t-shirt i believe so now i've bought my sticker and i've bought something else i can't recall i think another t-shirt anyway i've added beach towels to it never bought any of those so it's um, experimental i only hope that this spring is a serious business and that the quality is uh, uh, super we'll see uh, anyway that's another way to contribute to this Arch Linux project and you can um, help us out this way. All right, have fun using Arch Linux as always. Arch Linux forum is there, the Discord is there, we're on Facebook. Um, if there are really technical questions, we urge you to go to the forum. But if you want to chat, then Discord is, is maybe the best way to do it. And uh, we'll see you online. All right, cheers.